வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் உங்கள் கார்ட் ஆஃப் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் த டயர் த மார்க்கிங்ஸ் ஆன் அ டயர் அண்ட் வாட் இட் மீன்ஸ் இன் மை எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஐ ஃபீல் தட் த டயர் இஸ் மேபி தி மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் காம்பனன்ட் இன் அ கார் பிகாஸ் வாட் எவர் த கார் மே பி இட் மே பி அ ஹைலி டெக்னாலஜிக்கல் கார் லைக் அ நாடி மர்சிடீஸ் பிஎம்டபிள்யூ ஓக்ஸ் வேகன் வோல்வோ you name it and you may have abs ebd that is anti lock braking system electronic brake distribution and anti skid and all the works and all the bells and whistles but the only thing which is holding us to mother earth are the tires so let's go and do it and we will be seeing this tires in a two part series okay here we go we have the numbers here 175 slash 70 r14 this 175 is the width the width of the tire in mm and this 70 is the height of the tire the height or otherwise known as profile so this height of the tire is 70% of 175 mm so if it is going to be 60 then the tire is going the height of the tire will be less okay now r means radial there are two types of tires uh, one is a cross ply the other one is a radial so the old generation cars had cross ply tires now we are having all most of the cars almost all have radial tires so that is the r okay so we got the r and what is this 14 14 is the size of the rim or the disc the diameter of the disc in inches which we are going to see now uh in this tire now we are going to measure what is the size of the rim or the disc this is a steel rim it can also be a uh an alloy wheel okay so it says 15 so this actually is a 14 size rim then you may ask me how are you going to explain that dot now this is where the tire sits so roughly if you measure the diameter and just approximately reduce 1 inch then it is 14 inch tire it's a 14 inch disc now look at these markings these markings the look at the last two number that is 14 so that means this tire has been manufactured in 2014 the nowadays the markings are being changed so that we have to ask the dealer that when is the manufacture of the tire now what is the now you may ask me what is the importance in this number that this tire was manufactured in 2014 generally the rubber parts have a life of about 4 to 5 years so when you go to buy a tire make sure that you buy a tire which has been manufactured before 6 months inside 6 months so that after you put it in the car you have a life of about 4 to 4 and a half years this is most important because we spend a lot of money on tires and uh, <clears throat> after so you may ask me what happens after 4 to 5 years after 4 to 5 years the compound 
the compound of this tire the rubber compound of this tire hardens so actually the tire what happens is the profile just dips like this when you go over bumps or potholes and it gives you nearly 50% of your suspension action now as it becomes hard then there is no action there leading to a stiffer and a harsher ride and most importantly if the tire has been standing for a long time without the car being driven then there are good chances of blocks which are right when do we change a tire now this is literally a new tire and i put this point right inside the groove and check the height of the groove it is it is about 10 mm about a centimeter so this is a new tire you can drive your tires up to safely up to around 3 mm if you put the coin inside it should show at least 2 to 3 mm that means some amount of thread is there if that is not there please do not drive your car uh, at high speeds because there is chances of a blowout okay when do we change a tire as i told you before the thread has to be minimum 2 mm so that is one criteria the other criteria is if it crosses 4 to 5 years it's better for you to change because all the latest cars are designed to travel at high speeds so we do not want a blowout which may cause a very bad uh, accident okay so now if when we are going to change tires we change them two at a time if you don't want to change all the four tires at the same time or changing all the four tires at the same time is the best way to do it and to conserve your tire life it is best to have it aligned every uh, 5000 kilometers first when you fix the tire you balance the tire see there is something here you balance the tire uh, we will come to this in the next part first you balance the tire then you align the tire align the wheels so that after you align you keep aligning every 5000 kilometers the tires are going to last you somewhere around 50 to 60000 kilometers so see you in the next session in case you got some doubts you can always email me at Doctor at gmail.com and till then take care ciao